Welcome back everybody, this is Glockman4519, back to you again with another ROM overview. Uh, this is a very, very new ROM. Uh, this ROM is called Empire OS. Uh, it is based entirely off of uh, CM13. Um, this is basically CM13, through and through. This is an identical, <laughs> listen to me, I can't even talk. It's an identical version, copy of CM13, um, with the exception of it has been highly uh, optimized and um, tweaked. Um, and when I say that, I'm talking about kernels. Uh, the developer to this uh, ROM uh, actually builds and tweaks kernels. He knows, he, he knows his ins and outs when it comes to kernels. Um, the only reason I am not running the stock kernel or the supplied kernel on this is because it is uh, an optimized and tweaked stock CM13 kernel. What does that mean? That means it forces encryption. Um, and I am unencrypted. I do not want uh, to become encrypted. And I don't want to lose all my data if I flash it um, because that's what's going to happen. Um, so anyways, uh, in About Phone, uh, you will see that this is uh, for the Nexus 6, Android version 601, Synogen Mod version 13. And it is oh, uh, or the uh, Synogen Mod version 13 dash empire os uh and then this is uh 2016 37 uh for the for shamu um the kernel i'm running is empire or excuse me <laughs> is uh, elemental x uh for the nexus 6 obviously and it is uh build um or version 3.0.9 uh, there is an update to that i think it's 3.1.1 uh, .1 or 3.11 um but i i just haven't upgraded it yet uh, I have been running this for oh, ever since it first came out, since it was first released. Had a couple issues with the second release, or with the second version that was out. Um, we, we had a signature issue with the zip, uh, and he immediately got another zip out, um, and, uh, and we got it running. Now, I know your questions. Um, all right, guys, uh, or Glockman4519, Dave. Uh, you put out other videos of CM13. Why this one? Um, well, because this is one of those ROMs where the developer is asking for uh, requests. Uh, what kind of ROM do you want? You go on the XDA thread and give him a good, solid, uh, you know, um, tweak or mod or whatever you want to see in the ROM. Ask for it, and if it is a you know a good beneficial mod, he'll put it in. Um, so this is going to be one of those viewer request or request ROMs. At build as we go. Uh, those are the ones I really like. Um, a good example of that uh, would be Fluence, um, and I, I don't want it that it's not so much a. Um, a request ROM on that, but he listened to the people uh, and to the to the people that were flashing his uh, his ROM. And if it was something that they wanted changed, and he, and you know, and it, and he thought, well, you know, it would really work, he put it in there. Uh, this ROM is going to be kind of like that, only he's going to lean more on the request. So um, I'm just going to go through this really quick, guys, and let you go. So under developer options, we have standard signage and mod settings. You have your advanced reboot. Uh, of course, we have root access there. Uh, underneath that's going to be your Android debugging, uh, all of your uh, troubleshooting for that, um, you know, your bug report shortcuts, all that. Then you're going to get down to your uh, animations. Uh, that's where you're going to find your multi-window mode. And clean at the bottom, you're going to get your kill app back button. Uh, if we go up to privacy, this is signage and mod, so you've got all of your privacy settings right there. Uh, you've got your block caller list, signage and mod statistics, uh, and then, of course, your protected apps. And at the very top, your privacy guard. Um, if we go a little bit further up, uh, let's see, did I miss anything I wanted to go over language? No. Uh, we have our status bar settings. Uh, again, basic signage and mod. Uh, you have your status bar icons. Uh, this is on all ROM, signage and mod, and AOSP, and uh, stock Google. Uh, where you can pick and choose what you want to show on your status bar. Uh, then we have your clock, uh, where you want to put it right, left, center, if you don't want to run it at all. Um, and then you have your AM, FM, or AM, FM, AM, PM. 
Uh, and then underneath that, of course, are your battery icons, which are your standard uh, icon uh, portrait, uh, landscape, circle, text, hidden. Um, and yes, I am not running the three-minute mod. I think that is one request I'm going to put in. Uh, I would love to see him burn this right into the ROM. Uh, that is the best way that I've seen done. Um, you know, and that's the way I'd, I'd really like to see this. Uh, because I have tried the three-minute settings. It does not work. Um, and of course, you have your quick pull-down and all that. Uh, if we go back, uh, we are going to go to... Uh, Security, uh, again, standard uh, settings. Uh, you have your encrypt phone if you want to do that. Uh, you have your device administrators, unknown sources. Make sure you tick that unknown sources if you're going to sideload any apps. Um, and screen pinning's all the way at the bottom. Uh, let's see. Above that would probably, then we'd go to buttons. Uh, this is going to be um, where your nav button uh, settings are all at. Um, I didn't see anything crazy with the uh, button layout or the dimensions. They're all standard. Um, even your power menu, uh, pretty much, again, uh, this is stock. Now, these, this here is an area where we could get him to add some more features to. Uh, this, is what, this is what he's talking about. You know, if you want something like, you know, uh, screen record, I'd love to see screen record in this. Maybe I'll, I'll put a request in. I'm going to be following this ROM really, really close. Uh, then you have your end call uh, by pressing the power button, and you have your uh, press power button twice for the camera shortcut. Uh, and then underneath that, you have all of your volume control uh, settings. Uh, let's see. Lock screen settings. Again, basic stock settings uh, that you're going to find in Sonogen Mod. Uh, they are all there. Uh, I, I will say one thing I like. The whole live lock screen uh, thing. I, I don't use it. I do play around with it. Um, if I turned it off right now and I go to my lock screen, uh, that's my lock screen. You'll see how it is right there. Uh, but if I turned it on, and right now I've got that ticked colors. Uh, so this is called live lock screen. When you turn it off and then you turn it back on, uh, notice it is now colors. And when you move your thumb up and down, the colors kind of move and shift. Well, that's the whole live lock screen. Uh, you know, it's there. If you guys like it, you know, that's what it's there for to use. I just love Android and all the options. Um, and then, of course, under that, you have your live lock screen. Uh, you know, you have your, uh, excuse me, your lock screen shortcuts, which are going to be just bottom, and your, um, your display music. Um... And we have your notifications. That's going to be your heads up. Do not disturb. Uh, all of that is going to be underneath there where you can filter your notifications, uh, things like that. Uh, you got your display and lights. Uh, again, standard uh, pretty much. Um, yeah, I really can't think of anything that is out of place here. And if you go to last but not least are sounds. Uh, this is going to be where you're going to set up all your volume controls. Uh, for your ringtone, media, alarm, uh, you can either link or not link your notification volumes. Uh, I have mine unlinked at the time. At this time, I usually keep them linked. Uh, but I do want to keep my notifications off uh, just in case uh, I get one during the video. Believe me, this is the third time I've done this video. Seems like I'm a very popular man this morning. Um... And then, of course, you have your vibration settings on the bottom, and that is pretty much it, guys. Uh, the theme, it does come, uh, since it is Sonogen Mod 13, it comes with CM13's theme engine. Uh, it's really cool. It works. Um, you know, this thing works as good as CM13 does. If you guys are running CM13, you're going to like this ROM. It, it runs great. Uh, the difference between this ROM and CM13, again, remember, this is going to be a request ROM. If you want features in here, go to the XDA thread, request a feature, and if it's not outlandish and he thinks it's you know something he'll like to, he's going to add it. So that's pretty much why I did this video. I think it's awesome that we're, gonna, we're getting to see something new. Uh, again, this is Empire OS. Uh, the theme I'm running, guys, um, this is a theme I've been running for a while. Uh, I thought I'd bring it back for this video. 
Um, the theme is called Vibrance, and I do have the whole theme on here. So we're talking uh, status bar, settings, and nav bar. Um, I'm running fonts, of course, from Transparent Black, uh, but I got I have the wallpapers and everything uh, running on this. So this is what your settings are going to look like. Um, if you if you are like me and you like really dark. Uh, a dark UI or a black UI, which I love, uh, but you still like those eye-popping colors, there you go. That This is the perfect uh, theme for that. Uh, your drop-down is going to look like that. Oh, and by the way, if you do not know how to edit tiles, uh, it's very simple. This uh, one tile down here that says Edit Tiles, you click on that, and then you click on the Add Tile, and these are all the tiles that you can add to it. Not a lot. But again, here's some here's another area where you could, you know, if you wanted something added, bring it up in the XDA thread, and he would be more than happy to put it in as long as it's not over the top or just you know straight crazy. Um, you know, if if it's something that is going to help the ROM out uh, and be beneficial, uh, he'll probably incorporate it. Um, and as you can see, those are my nav bars on the bottom. This is what the wallpaper looks like. It's really, really nice, especially if you drop your uh, LCD density uh, down uh, to like 480 or somewhere around there. It really, really pops. Um, but uh, it really, you know, darks out your, uh, your Google. If you like running Google now as your home, uh, it really drops that down. Uh, I am not much of a Google uh, home, uh, you know, Google now. Um, person, I don't usually run that. Um, I run Nova Launcher, but you know it's just the way it is. Um, that is pretty much it, guys. Um, I tried to keep it as short as I could. I know uh, I'm going to get some flack about this. It's just CM13, man. Yes, it is. It's just CM13. But if you are encrypted and you want to run this kernel with its supply, or you want to run this ROM with its supplied kernel. It is tweaked and optimized for battery life and performance. It's going to run good. Um, so right there, there alone is enough reason to download this. Um, I like it because it's going to be a feature request ROM. And I am going to follow it. I'm probably going to put a couple of requests in myself. I'd like to see battery bar in there um, and a couple other features. But, uh, you know, that hopefully we'll see how that, that turns out. Um, again, guys, if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Um, again, I can't believe how uh, how far this has grown into. Uh, I just started this out as I just wanted to throw out a couple of ROMs out there and, and show them off, which I thought were really awesome. Uh, and it's turned into quite a few ROMs. Um, it's something I love to do. I love the flash ROMs. Uh, th this is basically my side hobby. So if you guys have a ROM that you want to see, um, on your device, and I own that device, let me know. I, you know, I'll flash it, and I'll, I'll throw a video out for you. So uh, until I see you guys again, uh, everybody take care, and I will see you on the next one.